Hey everyone, Brad from DevOps Journey here, and I have a really cool extension out there for you developers and DevOps engineers, and it's to do with using the REST protocol. It's called REST Client, and it lets you send a REST API request directly from Visual Studio Code. This is really important when you're in the prototyping stage and you're just trying to test things out with a new application. I find it way easier and quicker to prototype than using tools like Postman. So join me now and I'll quickly show you how it all works. All right, so once you hop into Visual Studio Code, you'll want to head on over to the extensions section. And then from there, search for REST client and then install this one. I already have it installed, so just make sure yours is installed and enabled as well. Once you have that, we can go into our files and create a new file. And I'm just gonna call this test.txt. And then from here, we're gonna put in the URL of our API. So for this test, I'm gonna use the Star Wars API. I already have it open in my browser. And you can see it's swapi.dev and you can test everything out directly from their website. So if you head on over here, you can search for people, one that pulls up Luke Skywalker. And if you did something like people slash two, you're gonna get C3PO. And if you just do people slash, you should get the entire list of all the Star Wars characters. And actually looking at the data here, it seems that it only pulls uh, 10 of them so like if you want to see the 11th person you could do people slash 11 and see who the 11th character is and it's Anakin so that's pretty good but you don't really want to be using a website like this to do it you much rather be closer to your code so to do this from the Visual Studio Code client you can take this URL and then paste it into Visual Studio Code and then we wanted the people slash one slash and this should pull up Luke Skywalker. Now if we go control shift P for our command palette, we can see all the rest commands if we search for them. So you can see the send request, cancel, and a whole bunch of other ones that you might need to use. But for now we're just gonna use the send request. And we send it over and we can see that it's returning the results for Luke Skywalker. Now you can see Luke Skywalker has this home world and it brings you somewhere else in the API. Now, if I wanted to test this, I could uh, paste this in like this and then rerun my request. And from this, you can see Luke Skywalker is from Tatooine. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Now, another thing that I'll show you here is you can actually have multiple URLs in the same file and it'll go to whatever one you have highlighted. So I'm going to highlight the people one right now. Hit F1, do send request and you can see Luke Skywalker came up and if I do planets and then send request you can see that it's pulling up the planet so it's very easy to have multiple URLs and even just change the data in here if we want to see planet number two that's very easy to do just quickly update it and rerun the send request now you can also get a lot more specific here uh, by default it's always going to send a get request like this and you can see when I type get there that it doesn't cause any issues on the line. It still pulls up the data properly. And this would allow you to do things like post requests, but uh, I don't think the Star Wars API allows post requests. So you can see that I get a 301 error, but if you needed to do it, that's how you would do it. There's plenty of documentation to go into specifics that you can check underneath the extension help and it will show you how to set variables and other things like that. You can see here, here's an example of how to do a post request and set the name and time. So it's really simple to use and very powerful. So I hope this video helps you developers out there. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you're looking to join a community of other developers or DevOps engineers that are always learning and expanding their skills, please join our Discord. We'd love to have you there. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you're interested in more Visual Studio videos, please check out my channel. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you in the next video.